Who is the Holy Spirit? God is love. This love shared between God the Father and His beloved Son Jesus is the Holy Spirit. He is the third person of the Holy Trinity, oftentimes represented as a dove, as water, or as tongues of fire. The dove represents the Spirit that comes down on us and continuously purifies our hearts. The water signifies fruitfulness of life given in the Holy Spirit, while fire symbolizes the Holy Spirit's transforming energy and renewing action. The Holy Spirit gives us the graces that we need to live our lives as Christians. The Holy Spirit enlightens the mind and gives us a deeper understanding of God and the mysteries of our faith. It also strengthens our desire to love, honor, and serve God. We celebrate the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Pentecost is the feast known as the birthday of our Catholic Church. The word Pentecost is derived from the Greek word Pentecoste, meaning 50, signifying 50 days after Jesus' death and resurrection. Pentecost is the fulfillment of Christ's promise to the apostles before he ascended to heaven. In the Gospel of John, he promised that God the Father will send the Holy Spirit to teach and to remind the apostles of everything that Jesus told them, so they should not be afraid. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus also promised that the apostles will be his witnesses and they shall be clothed with power from on high. So if Pentecost was the fulfillment of Jesus' promise, then what did happen at Pentecost? After Jesus ascended to heaven, Mother Mary, the apostles, and the first followers of Jesus were gathered together in the upper room. Then suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and tongues of fire came to rest on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit that they began to speak in different languages. Now there were devout Jews from every nation staying in Jerusalem at that time. These people ran over to see what all the noise was about and were surprised to hear that their own languages were being spoken. They were so amazed that they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in our own native language? Then Peter stood up and explained that what they were experiencing is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. He then proceeded to proclaim who Jesus was, that he is the Savior who was crucified, died, and was raised from the dead. He called on the crowd to repent and turn to Jesus for salvation. At that moment, there were 3,000 people who then came to believe and were baptized on that same day. From then on, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the disciples began to go to other nations to proclaim the message of Jesus. Just like the early disciples, we too shall continuously be renewed, transformed, and empowered from our baptism to the Holy Spirit's fuller release in our confirmation to our everyday life through the graces received in, through, and by the power of the Holy Spirit.